Hey everybody. All right. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to make a hover over a new way. I know I did a video, but uh, that one's not really the best. So I'm gonna show you a new way to do it. All right. So we're gonna want to create an HTML document, and uh, you don't have to, but I'm gonna create a CSS document. If you want, you can just do the CSS in the head. Actually, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. All right. So first, I'm going to um, return make a div um, and I'm going to ID it um, let's call it no that won't work um, rollover and now in the head we'll go some head style type text CSS and then here we go, slash to end the stuff. Alright, so first what we're going to do, uh, let's just do some body first. Return background color and let's just do red. Alright. Alright. Now, um, and another thing that I'm going to show you is how to make something stay in one place without it moving at all. Like, you can't even tell that you're scrolling. Alright, so we're going to name this um, rollover, because that's the ID. And whenever you're uh, doing a CSS to uh, ID, you do a pound. If you're doing it to a class, you do a dot. And if you're doing it to a div, then you just uh, don't do anything. Alright, now rollover. Now we are going to write... Um, Back, oh wait, background, uh, color, let's do green, and then let's have an opacity of 0 0.3. All right, now we make some, now we make a new one that says pound, roll over, then colon, Hover a space, and then we go. Um, let's change. Actually, let's just go opacity. Let's put it to zero point seven. Return background, and I'm not sure if the background if we can actually change the background. Um, I don't know. All right, so now we can go design live view. Let's see. Do do do. Um, I have to put a width, so width, let's make it 200 by, um, I didn't, height of, uh, 200. Alright, so I'm just going to do a 200 by 200 block, and you can see it looks something like that. Now, if you do that, you see it's not very high. Now, when you hover over it, it changes. Now we can do this. This is the same thing that we can do with a um, an image. So if we go URL and we go to my image folder, let's say you want to go from a Facebook logo, hit OK, and here, opacity 3, and I will take out that right now, to at the end you just want that. And sure, let's do 200 px. Oh no, wait. Um, width 200 by height of 200. Um, design. You can see it's gonna look. Oh no, wait, that's too big. Um. Oh, you know what? I think it's 140. I think that's the dimension that the pictures are. Um, 140. Actually, you know, I'm going to go back to 170 and do one more thing. 170. Wait. Make sure to write pixels because then I might think you're doing a different dimension. And now we are going to go re. No repeat. Alright, now design. Now, see, we have this big thing, but it's not repeating. And, um. Anyway, alright, let's leave it at that. Now we go live view. Now we see it goes like that. And then when we hover over it, it turns. Now we can do the same thing. Now another thing we can do 
is we can just have the opacity change. So we can go design, live view, have it like that, and just lights up. You can also, by the way, we're not doing opacity for 100, it's a scale of 1. So if you go, um, oh wait, no, 1.0, design. Um, by the way, what it looks like if you're not in live view, that'll just be 100%. So don't look at that. You have to put it in live view there. And then when you hover over it, it just turns bright. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the body actually a height of 2,000 pixels. And now if you go to live view and you scroll, it goes away. Now let's say you're doing like a menu bar or something. So let me show you what that'll look like. So if we go down to here, I hit return, I go div, I'll give it an ID of um, stay, and have that in it. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to go down, we're going to go pound, wait, stay, then close, return, delete, return, and we're going to write background and we'll make it a color uh, since I don't have that color then we're gonna be um, I'm gonna have a width of 180 and a height of 200 and now if we just look at this will it show it's gonna look something like that all right. Um, now I'm gonna add some rounded corners. So dash web kit um, order radius uh, bottom right. I'm gonna keep it at the left side of the screen. So bottom right. I'm gonna make it fifteen. Um, one second. All right. Sorry. So now we go dash web kit border radius. Now, top right, because I'm just doing it for the right, 15 px. Now, we have to do the same with um, for the mod, so it works in Mozilla, or mostly Firefox. Border, I don't know, wait, I spelled border dash radius, and I want bottom right, 15, and dash radius, now top right. 15 and um border border bottom right radius I'll do 15 and this is for just other browsers border dash top right radius 15 all right I think that works it's like um, yeah, all right, and um, now this is where it goes. So now we go position fix. Let me just show you if we just said this. If we just said this, we go live view, you scroll, it stays. Now you say, All right, well, that's pretty cool, right? But now let's say we want it to be in a different place on the screen. So now we can go, Let's have it top, let's have it. Um, 200 pixels from the top and left. Um, let's have this thing in the, let's have it, uh, 600 pixels. Go design, live view, and now, the thing that's now is we can have it wherever we want. So I can put it back to um, zero pixels. And it will never show up in design, unfortunately. And now I can go here. It just shows there. And as we scroll. So let's say you want a bunch of these icons. So here, let's do another one. Let's do a, di a couple different logos. So roll over. Then I'll go. Oh, wait. I have to go. Div. ID. Roll over. Div. ID. Roll over. And now I'm going to make this one um, G, and this one T, and this one F. And now I'll write F, and now F. 
And now for this one, I want all of them to change. So now we write town roll over g hover and roll over. Oh no, it was a uh, t hover. And now I'm just going to copy this. Command C. By the way, that's Command or uh, that's Control C on a Mac. G and T, and now I will um, take this, go space, URL, and this is for T, so I'm going to put my Twitter logo here, okay, and then no repeat, and now I'll do the same thing here, URL. And this is going to be for my Google Plus logo, okay. And then, oops, no, repeat. Alright. Now, if we go to design, we have, let's see, oh, I didn't close this one. Alright, there we go. Design, and let's see, alright, now we have to make this um, stay width, I mean, height. Let's make it um, 700. No, that's two. Sure. And now I'm going to write. Um, one sec. Let me just. Uh, so 170 times three. Just to get these. Five eleven. So just to make this perfect, I will do five ten. Right? Is it five ten? Yeah, it has to be a thing. No. Maybe a little less. Five hundred. I just want to get them so there isn't. All right. And now, um, just I'm gonna go div. And then have P. Alright, sorry. Alright, so now if we go live view, it'll do the same thing. See? These nice buttons. Oh, by the way, one more thing that I, I didn't find easy. Let's say you want to make a link. You can't do ref because you don't have anything um, to link. So you go, what you have to do is on click location dot ref equals then singles right here just the single ones right here and then you go http colon slash slash rail dash tutorials dot com let's do that and this is for the rollover f so now if you do live view click on rollover f takes me to my website. And that's how you link them.